Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a video about why I play Attack Wing so enthusiastically and why I'm so deeply in love with this game because I get a lot of comments about why I don't play X-Wing or uh, how this game relates to X-Wing. So I thought I'd just talk a little bit about why I made the decisions I made to play this game instead of X-Wing. And I also want to talk about why I didn't make this decision, what weren't factors for me. If you do play X-Wing, don't hate me for this. I uh, have many friends who are X-Wing players and we still get along fine so we can still be friends too. But a lot of these reasons actually relate to the universe and how that universe has translated to the in-game workings. So I'm going to talk about what weren't factors first because I think that's really important. Now first of all what wasn't a factor is my fandom. I do love Star Wars and Star Trek both very much. Another thing that isn't a factor is the game mechanics. Both games are so very similar in terms of the ships, like the paint job and the scale, don't care. I paint my model, so it's not an issue, whatever the paint job is. And uh, the scale, both of the games have messed up scales when it comes to the ships they're using, so pff, not an issue for me. Now what is an issue is, first things first, Star Wars is about a battle between good and evil. And it's really obvious who is good, and it's really obvious who is evil, but really that dichotomy is a two-faction world. And Star Trek is about intergalactic politics, and what that means is instead of being black and white, it's just various shades of gray. And even when you have an enemy, they all, they can turn at any point. Uh, you can have redeeming quality, but about any specific race, and that was kind of the point of that universe, and when that translates to the game, that means that you can have many different factions. Like right now, there's currently four factions that are playable. Um, there is another two on top of that that have like ships out in the form of prize ships, like the Bajoran ship and the Frangi ship that you can play. Uh, there are independents, and the rulebook actually just lists like nine or something. They have the mirror universe for God's sakes. It's listed there. And I think that's really cool and I, I love that. Um, so that's a factor for me. Another factor in terms of choosing Star Trek over Star Wars is um, spaceship battle is a really big aspect in the show. Um, whereas I don't feel like there's any kind of like, like there isn't that kind of focus in the Star Wars universe on fighter kind of battles. It isn't like, it isn't like the, the ground battles even. When you, when you comes to Star Wars, you felt like the, the battles were waged by footmen on planets as much as they were in the sky. Star Trek, you never get that feeling at all. It's always like fleets and fleets and fleets. Um, and I think that's partly due to the fact that like, I don't know, you can, for a movie and movie budget, you can hire so many extras and do all sorts of incredible things. On a show, you just don't have the budget, so it's easier just to go to CGI with a few ships and a few models and just like, wah, um, that sort of stuff. And because of that, I feel like playing Star Trek with spaceships is a truer, like, battle within the Star Trek universe, as opposed to Star Wars, where... I feel like if it was a ground game, it would be a very different kind of pick for me. But we're talking about we're talking about space battles and space fleets, so that's a factor for me. Um, another factor for me is the fact that my closest friends do play Star Trek, and I I feel like when it comes to playing a game that you love, you gotta play it with people you like. One thing that I do appreciate about Star Trek Attack Wing is that um, WizKids has done a really good job and they're really experienced about doing this and have been running organized play events. Um, so they help create communities where none exists. Um, so that is a really big deal and I think that like with the Dominion War event, um, these places are popping up with this game everywhere because of the fact that they're putting a lot of support into helping local gaming stores run these types of events, and I think that's awesome. Fantasy Flight just doesn't have that experience. I think they make board games, and that's that's just it. I also want to mention that, like, Star Trek, because there's such an emphasis in space battles, there's so many ships. There's lots of ships. And I, I feel right now, when you look at the Star Wars, like, expansions, 
in terms of like X-Wing. It's really limited. Come October, like there's going to be triple the number of ships available in Attack Wing than in X-Wing. And I, I'm kind of excited about that kind of choice. So that's it. Those are the reasons why I choose to play Attack Wing over X-Wing. I hope we can still be friends if you disagree with me. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you know you care about stuff that I care about or you don't care about stuff that I don't care about, like scale matters to you and that sort of thing. But in the meantime, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Attack Wing videos as well as other kinds of miniature wargaming rants and raves. Until next time, I will see you soon. Bye. We are on a special field trip to a friendly local gaming store in my area, Imaginary Wars, where we are going to explore the world of two-player games.